girls and girls, my name is C and welcome back to Factorio, where all the time we added a few more resources to our uh, factory here um, with the hope that we can actually supply um, the purple and yellow production with enough raw resources to keep them going, which I think we managed somewhat. So if we have a look at uh, what we are producing, oh, uh, these two, they are pretty evenly matched and they're producing output constantly. It's, it's a bit up and down, but so far, I don't think this is not necessarily due to um, to the to the input. If we want to scale further, produce more, we have two options. We plop down just another square with that factory, and hope that we can deliver enough materials to get that up and running. That's basically. Uh, horizontal scaling. Uh, we did that already. Uh, we scaled up from one factory to, to three for yellow and purple. Um, but if we are looking at the factory itself, we designed and built this at a point in time where we did not have beacons, modules, or even the last tier of um, of the uh, assembly machines. So I think before we scale horizontally, we should scale vertically, meaning we improve the factory that we have to get more out of it as it stands. And we'll start off with the, uh, the, the production here. Uh, on the furnace side, um, where we will have um, uh, some beacon action going in. And here we also want to have power. Power would be good. Then here and one more here on this side. It's all the beacons, and let's put in speed in here. <coughs> and then we have to see probably the yellow belt is no longer enough. Um, but we will deal with that as part of, of the next steps. So let's do the same thing here. And of course I am running out of um, materials. Yeah. So I will fetch some more bring this whole set up uh, up to speed also here here we probably um, need to tweak that a bit well, let's bring that around down here we can have beacons here on the on the side and then we should be able to produce more copper more iron more steel and then we have to see 
uh, how we can improve the actual production pipeline um, to use all these uh, new found or new produced resources. We can already see an improvement here in the production line because often we did not produce any science packs because we were missing the uh, flying robot frames and they were missing because we had not enough batteries. We had not enough batteries because there was no copper left here on this side. So now we should be able to produce constantly and um, we want to make sure that now that we can produce more plates that we also can bring those plates um, uh, to where they are needed. So let's first upgrade the the red undergrounds and then the yellow ones because we want to avoid uh, dragging the update planner over everything uh, because that could cause um, the uh, uh, undergrounds to to match match so if we would have if we would not yet have uh, or not yet have this one updated and updating this one then this would connect to there instead of there so that's what we wanted to avoid so let's bring that to here and then here probably down to there from there on we can go with the with yellow belt, I'm thinking. And then here for iron we will do the same thing, first upgrading the, uh, the, the yellow ones. Oh no, now everything is messed up. This wants to be red. This needs to be blue. But this needs to be red. Let's 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 fix that mistake. What? No. Let's rip everything out. And start again. Now that should be working. And this is exactly why we have to be careful with the update. So now we can hook that up again and insert. Oh, that one 
means to go this direction. Okay. That should be all good now. Steel is backing up. Here and once we get that through here, I think we can update this belt here because it looks like the, the steel one. That's good enough. Don't need any in in addition. All right. <coughs> then if we upgrade the copper wire belt. Assembly machines can cope with with the production, so let's upgrade those because we could do with a bit more um, green uh, circuits. We could then also probably do with a bit more blue ones. Nice. Ah, uh, yeah. Here, the remaining ones. Then, here. That's where we are lacking. Oh, and yeah, here definitely. What we will do here is we spam productivity in there and one, two, three, four. By the looks of it, we are lacking uh, in low density structures and the, uh, the, the flying robot frames. So let's first upgrade these assembly machines. They are that bit faster and then here cannot really place uh, uh, beacons here on the outside so instead of packing it full with beacons we will have one speed module and three productivity and that should uh, even things out, uh, we have 5% speed up, but we also have 30% more productivity. And then we see here uh, we need a bit more batteries, we can do that with speeding up the process. Nice. How are we looking here?
could speed this up. Or can we? Yeah, we can. And then have a beacon there. There. That should make sure that we have enough um, plastic. And we don't need this part. that and that so let's end the the belts where they need to end and probably we could do with a bit more low density structures so Let's put a speed module in each of those. But then have productivity there as well. And that should help with the overall situation. Here I think we are producing enough uh, engines for what we need. We are also enough uh, uh, batteries, that's good. Um, let's remove that part. Nice. So, if we look at the, at the production for yellow, we can see we shot up quite a bit and we just improved one factory. So imagine if we applied the, the, the same thing to the other two then we would really be rolling and I think I will just do that and then we can see how much we get out of this vertical scaling of yellow signs. We have come to this point here where everything is upgraded and I did a bit more uh, for the uh, circuits so uh, we have the blue and the greens also with speed and productivity and that gives us a decent uh, rather balanced output uh, for our factory here for yellow signs so if we look at where we stand we can see uh, we have shut up with the with the yellow suns um, formerly we were at uh, a similar level uh, like the the purple one and i only upgraded one additional square because i noticed we have power problems we cannot produce enough power uh, to to uh, push uh, our uh, more efficient factories which also consume more more power uh, through so i think before we continue with the, the vertical scaling uh, of the uh, last uh, yellow factory and then continue with purple um, we will have to deal with power but that's a job 
for next time. Hope you also tune in. And uh, for now, from me, it's goodbye.